Have you seen this already? There are plenty of videos that highlight AI created content or how automation is changing the way people work. I'm sure you've seen so many of these videos already. While this is only going to increase as it is becoming increasingly important to have AI skills to stay ahead, it is driving advancements in various industries and with every passing year, there has been an increase of AI job postings across several countries. Keeping up with AI skills is not easy though, since it's constantly evolving. But those who are aware and keep up with its demand can have an advantage in the coming years. AI expertise is in high demand. From knowing how to use ChatGPT to being more technical with natural language processing, having AI skills can open up a wide range of career opportunities. So if you want to know about the 10 AI skills you need to know to be part of the 5% highest earners in the future, stay on this video. Make sure to like this video as well so the algorithm can spread it to more people and subscribe to this channel if you have the time. So I've broken this up into non-technical AI skills and technical AI skills. Starting with the non-technical, we'll go into prompt engineering. Ever since the release of platforms like ChatGPT, Google Bard, and many others, being able to write prompts has become ever more important. The art of writing effective prompts helps elicit the desired response from the AI models you are speaking to. So naturally, pr mastering prompt engineering allows you to communicate with AI systems more effectively and efficiently. I use this analogy in another video, but writing prompts is more than just telling a simple instruction of what you want. It's like a genie. You need to be specific for your wish otherwise you may not get what you wanted. A thorough understanding of how to frame questions or commands is crucial for obtaining accurate and relevant AI generated responses. So if you want to get started on this, you don't need to have too much technical skill. There are plenty of interesting videos and resources out there such as prompt engineering tutorials, large language model responses by Free Codecamp. But if you want to get easily started, feel free to check out my video on the seven prompt patterns you first need to get started in writing better prompts. Then there are the AI content creators. As generative AI has been making moves in the past year, it's predicted that this will only be even more the case in the coming years. Getting a hang of these platforms can really help you stand out both as a content creator, but just in terms of creating content as a whole. Leveraging AI can enhance and refine your scripts, your banners, images, and even videos to that next level. We've already seen an influx of AI made content all over the web from blog posts to social media posts to videos. As AI continues to develop, it is likely that AI generated content will become increasingly common and sophisticated. Moreover, AI can help you be more productive and efficient. AI powered content creation tools can automate many of the time consuming tasks involved in content creation, such as research, writing, editing, drawing, and more. So there are plenty of AI content creation apps out there, which I'll cover in another video, but some tools to take note of in this are Grammarly and Pro Writing Aid to help you improve your writing by identifying grammar errors. Then there are AI powered content generators such as Jasper, AI, and Writer which can generate content in a variety of formats, such as blog posts, social media posts, and videos. And then Midjourney are just a few tools that can help you generate images, which you can use for thumbnails, banners, and other necessary visual assets. Then there is problem solving and critical thinking. As much as leveraging AI is important, it's expected that the more AI develops and the more these tools and platforms become integrated into our day to day, the stronger problem solving skills and critical thinking we will need as humans. In fact, there are plenty of evidence as well as articles suggesting that there will be a need for critical thinking skills for the coming generation as we move into the age of AI. What this means is that we should develop our critical thinking abilities and learn to solve problems if we want to be in demand in the fourth future. I'm sure there are plenty of resources to learn how to think critically, but books like Daniel Kahneman, such as Thinking Fast and Slow, are quite useful to give you some insight into how we think. But also, if you're really feeling a bit lost into where to get started, perhaps jump into any of these online courses you can find on Coursera related to critical thinking. Then there's data storytelling and visualization. Data analysis is an important skill to have. Learning to look at vast amounts of data and find some meaning behind it is great, but also just having that technical prowess isn't enough. At the end of the day, the ability to extract meaningful insights from that data and perhaps even visualize it to tell a story is what can bridge the gap between just looking at numbers and digesting it to take action. So adopting the skill and having effective communication of said data-driven insights is essential for any decision-making process. At the end of the day, just having a lot of data isn't enough. We need to learn to have more clarity in the data. So the recommended action here is to take a look at data visualization with Tableau by University of California, Davis. This is a great resource, which I personally have taken myself. According to the website, by the end of this specialization, you are able to generate basic reports and dashboards using Tableau and can create high impact visualizations that help you understand your data better. And then there's the AI business strategy and implementation. It's ever more clear that automation and AI are a key driver of change in the workplace. As such, there's a huge demand for AI skills in general. But while it might feel a little daunting and overwhelming to learn everything there is to learn about the technical aspects of AI, you don't need to be a programmer just to succeed in this goldmine of opportunity. Even knowing how to implement AI into your business strategy is going to be useful. This involves identifying opportunities to integrate AI within your organization, assessing in risks, and developing a roadmap for achieving those goals. Of course, it's not just about using AI for the sake of using AI. 
Instead, people that can implement AI business strategies have the ability to harness greater efficiency and help their company stand out, whatever industry it is. So the recommended action here is to no surprise, taking some AI courses that are relatively rife. One specialization that I found useful and have taken myself is the AI for Business specialization by UPenn. It's quite wide ranging, learning the basics on big data, AI, and machine learning as a whole. The specialization covers ethics and risks of AI, people management, educates you on how personalization using AI can enhance the customer journey. And the specialization overall will provide you enough understanding of the overall AI landscape to give you a knowledge on how to implement AI into your business or a company you work for. Then there's AI project management. More AI-based apps are coming out. And as expected, there is a surge in demand for skilled AI project managers. According to a 2023 PMI annual global survey, 82% of senior leaders reported that AI would have some sort of impact on how a project is run within an organization. So as a product manager, you need to have people skills, but also some technical ones, depending on the type of product manager you are. But knowing when and how to use AI to manage a product is even better. So the recommended action here is another specialization I've taken myself, but AI product management specialization is an interesting course or specialization to take. It helps you understand on a relatively basic level how machine learning works and when it can be applied to solve problems. So with that out all of the way, we could then go into technical AI skills. First would be programming. Of course, we all know programming helps. Not only does it help to give the ability to create apps if you wish, but the demand for programming skills such as knowing Python continues to remain high. In just the last few years, the worldwide demand for even just Python developers increased to 41% according to GitHub. While there are more programming languages out there, I talk about Python since it directly correlates to AI and data analysis. Plus, it is ranked the most popular programming language according to the Popularity of Programming Language Index. The recommended action here is if you're keen on picking up programming, there are several free tutorials on YouTube you can look out for. If not, try checking out some of the data learning platforms like DataCamp or Code Academy. Then there is data analysis and science. Speaking of Python, another necessary skill continues to be data analytics or data science. According to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, job openings for data analysts for some sort are expected to grow 23% between 2021 until 2031. This is quite high as it is more than the 5% average growth of all other jobs. It also doesn't hurt that data analysts or scientists get paid relatively well. The recommended action here would be to try to check out some data learning platforms like DataCamp or Code Academy. But if not, you can also try checking out Coursera as they have several useful resources from Learn SQL Basics for Data Science or Google Data Analytics. And then there is Learning Natural Language Processing, or NLP. With the advent of ChatGPT, natural language processing is a technical skill that will continue to blow up as the years go by. NLP has to do with interpreting human language through AI. And according to research, the market is projected to grow tremendously from 18.9 billion US dollars into 2023 to a whopping 68.1 billion dollars by 2028. The recommended action here, to no surprise, is to try first checking out platforms like Coursera. They have a natural language processing specialization you can learn from. While you do need to have some programming and technical experience to take the course, you can learn the basics of NLP and get a better understanding of how these technologies work. And then there's computer vision. Another technical area of AI, computer vision, is simply the ability for AI to interpret and understand visual information. We already see computer vision being used in a variety of apps from image recognition to self-driving cars. Much like NLP, the average entry-level salary is over $100,000 for a CV engineer, and this can reach heights to 200 to 300,000 the more exp experience you have. Simply put, the demand is high, but the supply of people who can do this is quite low. This makes you highly desirable in the market. So as trends like visual commerce, where we can search and shop online using images and visual search continue to grow in the nearing future, it's no surprise that computer vision will be in demand. Recommended action here, as you guys already know, I'll be recommending Coursera. Check out Coursera to check out a specialization called computer vision for engineering and science. So in the ever evolving realm of AI, curiosity and continuous learning are ultimately best access you have to stay ahead. As you guys noticed, a lot of the recommended actions I've suggested is to point you into the direction of places where you can learn these resources. AI is not just the future, it's literally here now. And this isn't something we're talking about that will be. By having even a fundamental grasp on AI, whether it's technical or not, you can literally position yourself as being part of the top 3 to 5% of people who are ready. And based on a World Economic Forum, AI is expected to replace 85 million jobs worldwide by 2025. That's only two years from now. So it's not just doom and gloom though. It can create a million more jobs as well. But to do so, you need to be prepared and stand up from the rest, which is why 
I recommend any of the resources that I mentioned in this video to get started now. So if this video was helpful for you, please make sure to like this video as it really helps the algorithm spread it to more people and subscribe to this channel if you want to continue to get information about AI tools, tips and trends that will help you stay ahead of the curve.